Hello guys and welcome to the video my name is Nouri Radwan and in this video I will share with you a really useful technique to paint small details. If you are interested in photo manipulation techniques or considering a career in digital art make sure to like and subscribe as we put 5 videos a week. Let's roll to the video. Enjoy. <music> So the first step to do is to get a snow texture image i got mine from adobe stock websites all the links are going to be down in the description now that we have the snow texture let's go to edit and define this snow texture as a new pattern name it whatever and click ok and then let's close the uh, snow texture as we don't need it anymore so back to our image before we start, I need to turn this scene from daylight to night, and that's by adding a color lockup adjustment layer at the top, and then select Moonlight. Now that we got the night effect, I want to lighten the image a bit more, so let's duplicate the house image and change the blending mode to screen. And then click Ctrl L and decrease the midtones. And then click OK. Now click on Ctrl U and decrease the saturation. Take the hue slide to the right to make it uh, cold color. Make sure to uh, check colorize. And then let's add the mask to our duplicated image and click Ctrl I to inverse it. And then with a soft brush and white color and 10% flow. Just paint on the areas that you want to lighten up and after you finish select the three layers and click ctrl e to merge them then select the brush and make sure the flow is on 10 percent and click on this icon to bring the brush menu the brush settings menu and then click on texture and now select the pattern that we made after that change the mode under texture each tip and make it multiply and make sure the depth is on 100% and this is the values that we are going to mess with now keep in mind that you don't have to copy my settings because it depends on the texture that you are working with and the way you want to paint there's two downsides for this technique the first one is that you can't rotate the texture and the second one is that the texture is going to keep repeating itself now keep your eyes on that preview screen because it's going to show you what is your texture is going to look like when you paint don't worry about the texture keep repeating itself because it can be solved by uh, just hiding it with the mask or using the clone stamp tool keep messing with these values till you get a nice preview that looks like a snow texture and when you finally get the uh, best results start to paint on the areas that you want the snow to be on now let's decrease the flow and let's decrease the contrast and the brightness till we get a nice contrast in the texture now let's go to the brush tip shape and let's bend it and you can control the uh, rotation with the arrows uh, keys on the keyboard keep the brush settings menu on the side because you are going to need to go back and change the values every time you paint because sometimes you need the uh, snow to be uh, bigger in the scale and sometimes you need it smaller and sometimes you need to uh, decrease the contrast and sometimes you need to increase it and that's because we don't want the texture to be in one scale and one shape because it will look like it's fake and flat so yeah keep the brush settings open and change the values every time you paint and i'm going to be back after i paint uh, on this scene and make sure also to uh, rotate the brush tip shape using the arrows keys because i forgot to do so while i'm working on this scene and yeah just take your time paint on the trees and every shape and any object that you feel like the snow could reach and the more time you spend on painting the snow and changing the values the more accurate results you will get so 
just take your time and doing it fast just for the sake of the tutorial because I don't want it to be long and boring. After you finish, add a color lockup adjustment layer at the top, clip it to the snow layer and then change it to moonlight and then repeat the two layers three times so we have six in general. For the first layer, click and hold control till you get it square and then select the snow that you paint and then make a mask from the selection that is going to make the edges more sharp and then click on control L and let's adjust the uh, contrast of the uh, first uh, layer the first snow layer and that's just by messing with the uh, slides and for the middle layer we are going to click two times and check the bevel and emboss go to texture add the uh, snow pattern that we made make sure the scale is on 100 and increase the depth to uh, 500 percent and then let's make the uh, source of light is coming from the top and then increase the highlight mode and change the color and temple from the sky and make it a little bit brighter i'm going to zoom in the image so i can show you how that is affecting our uh, snow so as you can see it's adding uh, more depth to the snow making it look like it's 3d just so we can uh, get rid of the flat lock on our snow keep messing with the values till you get the fitting uh, results and now i'm going to paint more on the scene and i'm going to be back in a bit now i'm going to paint the snow on the wall but to do so i need to uh, check the uh, transfer option and what's going to do is going to add fade to our stroke so the more we paint the more faded it will get and it will disappear at some point with a really uh, soft transition make sure the control is on fade mode and keep it on a low value as you can see as we paint it's getting more faded so it's not painting on the wall it's only painting the bottom areas and now i'm going to paint with the uh, transfer option on and i will be back in a bit and there's another option i need to let you guys know about that is the uh, dual brush so the dual brush is basically using two brushes at the same time one brush is for shape and the other as a texture and the reason why i chose dual brush because i want to get rid of the uh, soft edges on our stroke choose a brush that doesn't have a simple shape edge like a circle or square or a triangle and start messing with the values and keep your eyes on the stroke till you get a nice stroke you want to paint with i'm going to speed up this process Now let's add this snow falling from the sky, just add a new layer and fill it with the black. And then add noise on 400 value and blur it by 2.0 value and click on Ctrl L and add a nice contrast till you get the look of the snow just like I did here. And then go to select color range, select the white color and make a mask, apply it to the new layer and click Ctrl U and then increase the brightness all the way up. Duplicate the layer and scale it on 600 on height and width.
Now click Ctrl A to select the canvas and then go to image and click on crop. As you can see now it's cropped. Now go to filter, blur gallery and field blur and change the value to 30%. And then go add a path blur and then make it look like it's falling from the sky with the speed of 40 to 50 and click OK. And let's do the same steps to the uh, other layer but make sure to lower the uh, values after that select two layers and then click ctrl e to merge them and add a color lockup adjustment layer set it to moonlight and clip it to the uh, snow that we just made and change its blending mode to screen and this is pretty much how the uh, texture work on the uh, brush settings and remember you can use this technique for painting more than just snow you can paint fire, uh, moss on trees, uh, moss on water uh, all of these uh, small details I'm using it a lot in my concept arts and it's really 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 useful and sometimes it saves a lot of time and make the work more detailed and one other advice i suggest you uh, add more than just one uh, pattern of the uh, detail that you want to paint like for the snow for example i used only one texture but if you used more than one it will look even better because you will add uh, different shapes so the more textures you add the more real it will look like and this is it for the lesson today. I will see you in other lessons. Bye bye.